Good evening. My name is Kyle Kazan. This is my son Keone, who is right. helping me. I'm a member of Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. Agreed. Agreed. I've been a member for several years. I'm a retired Torrance police officer. Thank you for that. Yes. Got everybody here. One of my fellow elite members is a vice presidential candidate, Judge Jim Gray. Really honored to have him. He's, I'm also honored to call him a very close friend. So, uh, a few things. LEAP, in, in case you don't know, was founded 10 years ago by uh, former and current law enforcement, judges, and district attorneys who feel the drug war is a complete waste of time. And more importantly, a waste of money, and it hurts people's lives. Yeah. I'm gonna give a couple of points because a lot of times I talk to people that are either very liberal or very conservative, and I look across at them and go, why aren't you on board with this? And I'm just gonna give you a couple of my quick talking points. I think you probably already know this, but the United States, since it declared war in 1971, has spent over a trillion dollars on the drug war. A trillion dollars. That's our money. Wasted. Two, what have we gotten for it? We're the highest prisoning country on the planet. And when I say that, people shake their heads. I go, yeah, more than China, more than any other desperate country. But here's the talking point that I like to, to share, because, and I was at a, a, a recent fundraiser for a very conservative politician, and I just, I shared this and people were blown away. And I'm gonna give you, it's a one minute anecdote. And it's real. Long Beach, tonight, hypothetically, a, a woman is raped. Some stranger comes up and rapes her. The Long Beach PD come out, they do their job, they take her to the hospital. And they do a rape kit, which basically extracts any kind of potential DNA evidence, and they send that to the LA County lab. All of that is real. Hopefully the rape is not. 10 minutes later in a different part of Long Beach, a kid, 21 years old, drive down the road, gets pulled over, and he has marijuana on him. They give him a citation. Thankfully he's not arrested, but he's cited. They book the marijuana into evidence, it's sent to the lab. That is very time sensitive because if he fights it, they, the lab has to prove that that green leafy substance is marijuana. The rape kit on average takes over two years to process. So where are our priorities? DNA could take somebody off the street for two years so he could be out there raping. Meanwhile, we know that green leafy substance is indeed Marijuana. So when you're talking to your friends and family, what's the priority that we're putting on society? And so far I have heard nobody come back to me and say, well, you know, we really want to get marijuana off the streets. LEAP is given our first award of valor for distinguished service to three people that risked their lives. And I am honored. We at LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, are honored to give the first ever award for Valor for Distinguished Service to Dale Jones. Yes! Thank you. Dale Jones, Jeff Jones, and Richard Green.
and the distinguished service, and thank you, Richard Lee, so much. This is the hero, this is the pioneer. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks everybody coming here, supporting Lee. Uh, Lee was with us all the way from the beginning. I can't accept this award myself, but I will accept it on behalf of all the brave soldiers of Bulldog Company, SK Seymour LLC. Uh, it's misreported that I put in a million dollars. It was actually the Bulldog Company, the Hoekster Dam, brave soldiers. It's over a hundred of them. Uh, it started with Jeff Jones and the OCBC and uh, continued with over 10 years of uh, brave dedication to uh, risking everything to, to, to fight this insanity. So uh, thank you to everybody who uh, worked with me and I had the honor to lead them to battle. And thank you again for being here. So, I'm excited about tonight. We have a wonderful movie by Ravid and Dan, who I was lucky enough to meet at one of my speaking engagements out at UCLA. I have yet to see it, but it's on Proposition 19. Following that, we have a panel that you're not gonna wanna miss. So, I know it's tempting when the, when the credits start rolling to kinda duck out the back door. It'll be less than an hour, and you're really gonna wanna hear what these people have have to say. So, without further ado, let me let me put, ask them to start showing legalizing. 